Guys, here we are. We're on South Holston Lake right outside of Bristol, Tennessee, home of the world famous NASCAR track. Now, we're not inside one of those fast cars. We don't have any helmets on, but man, those small mouth are turning us every which way but loose. Barry Loop and I spooled up some four pound line, got an ugly head jig or two. We're going to go let those big Kistler rods bow up. We're going to drag some of those smallmouth in. Water temperature is 56 to 58 degrees. They're mean, and they don't like it when that barb goes in, but we're going to fight them all the way to the boat. I'm Nathan Light. Welcome to 3B Outdoors. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by our premier sponsor, Spot Hog, maker of the world's toughest archery products. <laughs> I thought he was, but he's pretty good sized. He's getting ready to go by the boat about 80 miles an hour. Stay on there, boy. Oh, man. This one here may have some shake to him. I know he's got some shake. Uh oh. He's not as big as I thought he was, but man, he's a good one. He's not happy, I can tell you that. That little ugly head jigs. Got him fired up. He's on four pound line. He's going for the bottom. Watch him. He's got that Kistler rod boat up there. Come on up here, boy. Here he comes. Coming up. Give us one more look at you. Come on now. One fish per show. <laughs> Looky there, you talking about pretty. He's not the biggest beast in the world, but let me tell you, he is pulling. Come on now. I'm afraid to pull on him too hard. He's still bulldog. That water temperature is about 56 degrees and he is mad. He's got that ugly head jig stuck inside of his head and he's trying to get rid of it. I hope we'll get him up here to let you see him because he's been a good fight. Man, he's just down there pulling out crazy. he got to be wiring down a little bit. Oh my. Easy, 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 easy. Look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a fish. That's a way to start the day right here. We're on South Holston Lake. And man, the first bite of the day with the little ugly head jig, the little pink one. Man, oh man. Little bait, big old bass. Thank you, fish, man, oh man. What a bite. Dude, dude, dude. Woo! That's the first one. It's early. Let's get another. Big one, I don't think. Are you hooked up, man? Yep, I'm hooked up. But I can't have it. a little bit bigger. Nah, no, he's uh, real big. He's pulling hard, he's a though. He's fish, though. Tell me when he's, he's coming small. up. He's about 14, but he's oh, just yeah. a little baby, but we'll take him. Take the head jig. I put me a little, uh, Go up men on it, you know, because water temperature is 56 degrees, so we figured they might be on them minnows, but uh, he's, he's not a monster, but he's a South Holston one. 13, 14 inch bass. Little pink ugly head in his face, but little one's got to eat too, that's how they get big. Ugly head jig. You've uh, got a men on it, what kind of men? It's a go up men, a three inch, and a lot of times they, we'll use uh, two inch ones, but uh, 56 degree water temperature, I'm throwing something a little bit bigger, but uh, it takes a real man to fish pink. Real man to fish pink. I learned that lesson the first time me and Nathan went out and he, he was throwing pink and whacking them. But cute little fish. He's fat. He pulled hard. That's the main he thing. Pulled good. Thank you, Lord. Let's go get a big one now. We've hooked up again. Yeah, I don't think he's quite as big. No, he's not as big, but he's as fast. He's pulling hard. He just a good, good little fish. They're. When it's this time of year, 
day after Thanksgiving. It's Black Friday, you know, so we're up here getting some special deals on smallies today. He's a little old bitty guy. Little ugly head, pink ugly head jig. South Holston Lake smallmouth. Pretty deadly combination. <laughs> This portion of 3B Outdoors brought to you by Nelson Outfitters, 3B Outdoors preferred Wyoming and Montana big game outfitters, 316 Lure Company, Rage Expandable Broadheads, Fat Daddy Crankbaits, The Secret Is Out, Paul Clark Jr., State Farm Insurance, Get to a Better State, Jackie's Deer Lures, The Real Scent Company, and Matthews, Catch Us If You Can. Spot Hog Archery Products is in the business of making archers across the world successful and business is good. Thousands of bow owners put meat in the freezer, animals in the record books, and trophies on the wall. The best archers in the world choose Spot Hog, and we are creating the very best archery product on the planet, period. Spot Hog is a family owned business that takes pride in the statement, made in the USA. We guarantee that you will not find a more accurate sight, arrow rest, or release. Purchase our products from your local archer dealer or visit us online and get greedy. The high definition revolution is here. Experience fishing in high def with HDS by Lowrance. See fish and structure more clearly with built-in broadband sonar and even brighter displays. This is really cool. New InSight mapping locates fishing hotspots faster. Track storms and your favorite sports with serious satellite weather and radio. Trust me, this is big. Come along for the excitement of the Virginia Blue Ridge Highlands Fishing Trail. If you're a professional bass fisherman, you've already heard about this place if you haven't already been here. If you're a world-class fly fisherman for the trout, we have some of the most diverse fisheries. You can come and live bait fish for smallmouth bass. We even have musky, pike, and all kinds of smallmouth bass that just really rock your world when they hit a topwater lure. For a downloadable map of all the locations, how to find them, go to fishblueridge.com. Wow, what a truck. F-250 Lariat Super Duty Power Stroke. What a beast. I think this thing is uh, bad enough to haul 3B Outdoor Bucks in the back. Or bad enough to haul my four-wheeler. Or bad enough to tow my boat to the lake. He's not as big as I would like sometimes, but he's a good little fish. Mmm. Look at that. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. On four pound line, they're all a fight. Look at that shad he threw up right there. See that bait? I don't know if you can see it in the water. Little two inch looking shad, little old healthy South Holston smallmouth. Hit my little pink ugly head jig. Like Barry said, you gotta be a man, fish pink. Pretty, pretty fish. All right, man, that water's cold. Why did I do that? Whew. Refreshing is the word, I guess. We're just putting along, we're just kind of point hopping point to point. We figured out in that last place where I had a little old distinct point right at the end of the, the mud line and, and the only place on the bank that they could be. So we're going to jump over here. There's a couple little rocky banks, little distinct points. We're going to see if we can pull in here and smoke another one. Maybe I can hold them on this time. Are you hooked up, dude? He ain't a big one. He's going to jump. Oh, he's a... Come off. Good one. He's about a two-pounder. He come up and man, he got right to the surface and then took off that way. <laughs> That's fun though, he's pulling good. That's... Ain't a big one, but he's a bass. We can get this one in, we've lost four in a row. Not a big one, but I'll take him and get him in. He's decent. Got a little attitude, doesn't he? Yeah. A typical smallmouth. Mm. 
wouldn't lift him. Ain't that big, but the four pound test, he'd break it off. I want my Dougley head back. He's a little bit better. At least we got one in the boat. We yeah. like a 0 for 4 there, wouldn't we? Broke the string, man. Fat one. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Good little small man. All right, little Black ugly Friday, head jig. birthday fish. Little ugly head jig. You can't beat it. What more could you That's want? That's not my birthday bass I want, and I'll take it. I'd rather have like a big birthday bass, you know what I mean? That's coming later. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh, I'll give him about a five on that. Too much slap. <laughs> Belly flop, wasn't Belly it? flop. Let's go get another one. Coming up. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, a lot better. That's what we've been looking for now. A lot better. Ain't no hurry, baby. But... Nathan likes that back reel and that drives me crazy, so I just he's a lot better. He... He's a lot better. Man, he's beautiful. He's gold, really gold looking. He's more bronze than he is. Pretty. Old brown fish. He's really brown. The other ones have been a lot more green, but this one's really bronze colored. This is when you usually lose a big and just mess that even if they're less than a five pounder, you just gotta be easy with them. Get up that's the boat. You don't have any stretch and four pound test and depending on them rocks, he'll break you off. Bear hunting with a switch. Yeah, bear hunting with a switch, but it he's fat. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Easy now. Easy now. I'm going to cuff you in my hands. I can't get a hold of your mouth. Good fish. Bronze looking. Get him in. That's a classic. I guess where they got the name brown fish. That's a classic, classic color. His fins are just so brown. These are right here, just really, really brown colored. He, he's pretty. Good fish, catch them all day long like that, won't we? They got that right. And why you got him on? Ugly head too? Ugly head. I've been throwing the the gulp men on it all day. And Nathan was throwing it naked and uh, with nothing on it. We was trying to mix it up just a little bit. And uh, I caught that last one, had the men on it, threw it off, so I just left it off. And about two casts later, I caught this one. So sometimes just this little small jig, nothing on it. just. Ugly head, a little bit of hair, and, but I'm telling you, it's the movement and the little shake, 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 shake. It's just so subtle, but those smallmouth love it, as you can see. Good one. Good one. Thank you, buddy. Come back this way, red eye. Let go. Now, I don't know what you expect on your birthday, but here it is, Barry's birthday, and he just turned 50. That's right, he's half of a hunter. So I mean, he's getting old and he's up here fishing with me today and he's, he's hoping for this giant smallmouth. Well, he's caught two or three and he's lost two or three and he catches this, well, he catches this fish. I'm not even gonna tell you how big it is. And he goes off, man. I don't know what happened to him. He's way out there. Just watch. Well, if it's a bluegill or smallmouth, if it's a smallmouth, it's a, it's a little smallmouth. He's small, small. I'll throw him up in the boat. It's a big bass. It's a big, big, son, are you through? Are you through? Whew, whew. <laughs> That's my big birthday bass. I've never caught a smallmouth. Look, gosh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I caught me a birthday bass, look at it. Monster. <laughs> I like them all, baby. <laughs> He's a little cute little thing. Mm, aren't you cute? Mm. Go back and give me your mama, grandmama, granddaddy. <laughs> he was fun. I'll be gentle with you. You're tender. I can't throw you back. Now you see that point we just passed. Now I'm going to take my cursor, and even though we're past it, I can take my cursor back up over it, put it right on top of that point, hit my waypoint, hit enter. And I've got that waypoint, then I hit exit. We're back to live. Right there's my waypoint. And I'd already idled over. And you got a killer place in the springtime. HDS pays off. Oh, yeah. Look at that men are hanging out his mouth. He's getting ready to spit it up. Look there, see that big men they spit up right there?
What do you got in his mouth? A tube jig. Look at that. I thought it was a man he was trying to spit up. He took somebody's tube jig away. I bet they said, look, that 10 pounder took my tube jig with him. Come here, bud. He's pretty. Look at him. He hit it hard, I mean, He meant it like he's like a big one, but. He's mad, ain't he? He's, he's mad. They're feisty. 56 degree water temperature makes them a little bit more feisty. Come here. Come here. Open your little pea picking mouth. Little man eating mouth. Well, he's got a fat belly on him. Oh, yeah. He's acting like he's something special. Well, I get them ugly heads now. They got them good. Pretty little fish. Fat. 13, 14 inches. Fat. Yeah. We'll take him, won't we? There we go. Keeping the string and going. He's a little stub nose. Ain't boom. <laughs> Sloping eyes and our sloping forehead and beady eyes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Mm, that's scary. I'm just thinking, here we go. This segment of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Express Signs. Specializing in lighted signs, their vehicle wraps keep us looking awesome. Keenan Polarized, never compromised. Luminox, lighted arrow knocks. The Block, 4x4. Onyx, keeping you there. And Kistler Rods, fishing never felt so good. I bet my sight's tougher than your sight. Wanna bet? And. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Still want to bet? Every hunter's greedy to take a big buck. Isn't it about time you get greedy? If so, go out and get you a spot hog side. It'll make you greedy. He's throwing the same baits in the same places and you're just catching all the fish. Nathan, I, I'm just looking. I think you're a plug. I see your problem. Your plug don't have no hooks on it. I, I tell you. After you've made some investments like I have, and my retirement has performed the way it has, I can't afford to lose them. I took the hooks off of it. It's going to last me 20 more years. Nathan, my retirement plans are safe, secure, and guaranteed. Me and you just need to go top. So call Preferred Insurance Solutions at 423-378-9330. Hey, I'm Tim Smith, owner of Cornerstone Concrete Technology here in the Tri-Cities. Proud sponsor of 3B Outdoors. If your pool deck, concrete drive, or patio, or even your kitchen countertop could use a facelift, please give us a call here at 423-429-5143 for a free estimate. 423-429-5143. Cornerstone Concrete Technology, where your concrete is our canvas. That is a big one, Nathan. He's a good one. That's want wine right there, buddy. That is a want wine. That is a want wine. Golly, what a fish. What a fish. Don't let him get you in the troll motor. Oh my Just goodness, that's a time. monster. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, man. That was him, wasn't it? Oh, man, that's tough right there. That's a birthday bash right there. That's a monster, Nathan. Did you see him? Yeah, I seen him. Great old big fish right there, Nathan. Oh, man. That'll make your knees tremble. He, he just came loose. I mean, that's it. I mean, he... Mm. We get him again, what, man. What do you say, man? That's Stay tough. Up. The disappointment, yeah, that's, that's tough to lose one like that. I mean, that, that's a huge fish. That's what we come for. That was huge. But got him on camera. 
That's close as I can get him to foot from my hand. But he's a big one. He is a big one. That's rough. Happy birthday to me. Oh, I'll, I'm sure I'll get this in the end. He ain't 26 inches long like that other one. But they're just they're just hot and they're green and that big one. He can he jumped two or three times. And never come off. Got him right up beside the boat. That's a good little chunk. Yeah, got him right up beside the boat and. Look at that's one. In, we've seen another one similar, uh, similar to that. A humpback. Humpback. He's born, same. Yeah, he's really weird. Hmm. He's seen. Hey, ain't that something? That's probably the weirdest bass we've ever caught on three B outdoors. He's like a time max. He takes a lick and he keeps on ticking. Don't there you he? go. He's he's hefty though. Look at that one side. Oh, they're fat. They're beefed up. Getting ready for winter, aren't they? Yeah, he's pretty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the big birthday bass, even though it didn't get it in. Good job. Thank you, Lord. Another just good old, look at him there. Oh yeah. This good old hard pulling smallmouth. Fat, chunky, beautiful color. That's a bronze bass. You can see why in that sunlight. Man, they are beautiful. Pretty fish. Okay, now for the tip of the day. Um, you rode around with us about all day, and man, Barry, we just had an awesome day. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Yes, it is, 25th of November. And this happened to be your birthday. Just happened to be. It just happens <laughs> to be. And the two lures that we've been throwing all day long is a, a little minna, a little Berkeley gulp minna, and then the old standby. Ugly head jig. The ugly head jig. And occasionally we put a minna on the ugly head jig. Sometimes we minna. fish the, the ugly head naked, as we say. And as you can tell, it catches a lot of fish. And people say, well, these little tiny baits are not really good for catching big fish. But man, that first one I caught with nothing on it naked. Right. It's a, it's a pretty fish anywhere you go. And then you put a minna on one over there. And Man, it, it just burned him. <laughs> it bro mean, he broke me. He just wore you out. <laughs> but uh, man, what a what a great day! It's about 60 some degrees now, and uh, you just don't get too many chances to be out on the water this time of year and enjoy it. So, man, Barry, appreciate you coming hanging Had out a with great me. Great time, Nathan. Thank you very much. All right, get you some Berkeley gulps. Go ahead, jigs. Go ahead, jigs, and go to the lake and catch some big small man. Here he comes up. He does not want to come up. Come on up here. You know you just want to. Oh, that's a pretty one. Come on up here, boy. Come here now. Come on up here. Easy. Good little fight right there. Look at that. Big old fat belly on them. They're getting ready to do their thing for the winter. Man, that is so much fun. You can't, I tell you, this is hard to beat. <laughs> Come out of the wood, boy. Come out of the wood. Come on out of the wood. That's why he was in the wood. He's wanting to play under the boat. Here he comes, here he comes. Hang on now, don't get excited yet. There we go. <laughs> Little old minnow. Nice fish. Big old head on, look at that. 
a green fish. What a way to stop a day. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty. I thought that had potential to be a huge smallie. What a show. We were up there just putting the herd on those big smallmouth. And you know, Barry, it's his wait birthday. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it Barry Luth's birthday? It's his 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Barry. Is that all you can catch? Come on, get out of here. Just a little. Get, where did you come from? I, I don't know if I can top Barry's birthday dance and, you know, rampage that he went on or whatever you want to call it. But, but man, he, he went crazy on us, I think. And I don't know if he'll ever come back again. So if, if you run into Barry anywhere and you're wondering if he's sane, maybe you can talk to him and uh, clarify that one way or the other. What a day on South Holston Lake. That four-pounder, man, I tell you, if I could catch those all day long, I wouldn't care if I caught anything else. Those hunting guys, one of these days, they're going to realize it's really all about the fishing side of this deal. Once again, I'm Nathan Light. This is 3B Outdoors, and we always bring you quality, Hunting and fishing. That's, that's probably the weirdest box we've ever got on 3 That is a fish. That's a way to start the day right here on South Holston Lake. Gosh! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we still rolling. <laughs>